If you've seen the movie The Jerk with Steve Martin, you'll know there's a scene where he's trying to decide what little he can keep from all of his stuff. And he says, all I need in all the world is this chair. And he says, all I need in all the world is this chair and this paddleball game. Well, all I need in all the world is this chair, this game, and this remote. And it goes on and on like that till he leaves the house carrying a whole bundle of stuff that he just can't let go of. I think of that scene when I hear the disciples tell Jesus in this remote place where there are thousands and thousands of people who need to be fed, that they have nothing. Nothing. Well, nothing, that is, except for these few fish and a little bit of bread. Jesus says, give me your nothing. Give me your nothing. And out of that, everyone is fed. And there's leftover despair to give away. Well, what really is happening there? Does Jesus magically multiply the few items of food? Quite possibly. I wouldn't put it past him to have that power. But is the truth of the story that? Because if that's the case, then we need physically Jesus here multiplying bread and fish to feed the hungry people around us. Or is there a truth in the story that they left their hoarding sense of scarcity and moved to a place of abundance? You don't really have nothing when you think you have nothing. What you have is less than everything you want. Well, that's always the case. But it's also always the case that if you give your nothing to Jesus, if you shift from thinking about scarcity to believing in abundance, well, then there will be abundance. Because God is here to multiply and bless even our nothingness.